Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for September 5, 2023, the All Wall Street Journal edition. And as you might guess from the title, all of today's stories come to us from the Wall Street Journal. The first is from the CIO Journal, Isabel Bosquet reporting, and it asks the question, or rather asks, will companies tell you they are using generative AI in their tools? Uh, apparently, there is some debate at the corporate level over whether companies need to inform employees or al- alert them they are using uh, AI. Some say it is critical to do so, while others say as long as the content is accurate, the source shouldn't matter. So it's an ongoing debate, and once again, our Know Nothing Congress has done exactly that, Know Nothing and probably until we get some clarity from the government uh, and Congress, it will still be an open question. Next up, from the first of three stories from the Risk and Compliance Journal, this one from Richard Vandeford, that businesses are turning to AI-powered tools to prevent injuries, although some workers are expressing reservations. Um, As you might guess, Amazon is leading the way, and um, they have in one of their warehouses, uh, the workers don't walk to and from the shelves. The shelves actually come to Amazon. So uh, Amazon calls the approach of moving shelves the goods to person. The design uses AI and sensors to promote efficiency, ergonomics, and safety with the thinking that it's ultimately better to having the shelving units rather than employees scurrying around. Um, The incident rate or lost time injury uh, rates have fallen nearly 70% from 2019 to 2022. Um, And it uh, lost time rates were 21% higher at sites that didn't use robotics. Next up from Mingi Sun, she has a QA and a with the Silicon Valley prosecutor taking aim at Egg butchering scams. Aaron West, a Santa Clara, Clara deputy district attorney, is known at, in crypto law enforcement circles for raising awareness on scams and help getting their um, get uh, people who've been fraud, defrauded get their money back. It, the pig butchering is an online grift in which trusting individuals are duped into bogo crypto investments, and unfortunately. That seems ubiquitous in the crypto world. Our final story, also some from Richard Vandeford, reports on the U.S. sanction of a Russian company who supplied missiles to the uh, North Korean missile testing program. So a sanction to a Russian company. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.